and welcome to Infoscope. I'm your host, Hannah Kim. We have another episode full of the latest from the IT and science worlds. Here in Korea, we are going through a seasonal change, which means you could easily catch a cold. Doctors always recommend drinking lots of water, healthy diets, and exercise to boost your immune system. If you're a little bored with just water, I highly recommend a cup of barley tea because other than keeping you warm and hydrated, it helps prevent diabetes. Let's find out more about this and other stories on Breathing Scope. New research has revealed that barley can help suppress appetite and prevent diabetes. The dietary fiber unique to barley generates hormones that control metabolism and appetite and hormones that reduce low-grade inflammation in the intestines. Researchers from the Korea Institute of Science and Technology have succeeded in developing a type of stent that doesn't come with side effects such as infections or re-narrowing of blood vessels. They expect it to be commercialized within the next two years. The world's first online information bank for the genome of organisms that cause red tide has been opened in Korea. The information provided by the bank is expected to help scientists learn about the causes of red tide and marine life. Korea's Changbogo Antarctic Research Station celebrated its second anniversary last month. There are currently 16 researchers based in Changbogo Station at the moment, conducting research in a variety of fields while braving minus 30 degrees weather. Congratulations to the Changbogo Station for two years of successful mission and best of luck to all the hardworking researchers. Now we have more anniversaries to celebrate because last month, the Korea Institute of Science and Technology also celebrated their 50 years of research and development. Let's look back at the Institute's achievements and its goals for the future on Industry Inside. Alzheimer's disease and its progress can be diagnosed with a simple blood test. The test uses the fact that patients with dementia have a different density of proteins that control the immune system. The technology was handed over to a private company for the value of $267 million. The face on the screen is steadily showing more wrinkles and the skin tone is changing. This 3D montage technology, which predicts the future appearance of a person, is currently being used by police investigators. All of these technologies were developed at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, or KIST, KIST opened its doors in 1966 with 18 Korean expatriate scientists when Korea was a wasteland for science. The institution gained experience by taking part in the construction of the Kyungbu Expressway and the Pohang Iron and Steel Company, and was behind the development of Korea's first computer made with homegrown technology. All of the technologies developed by KIST until now are worth about $500 billion. For the next 50 years, KIST aims to create new miracles in the fields of artificial intelligence, dementia treatment, and renewable energy. KISS will open their research labs to the public and strengthen ties with other research institutes in order to conduct even more groundbreaking studies and establish a new milestone in science and technology. In Sweden, where cash makes up just 2% of its economy, shopkeepers and even news vendors on the streets carry card readers. Eight out of ten major banks do not conduct cash transactions at their branches, and there have been times when robbers left banks empty-handed. Pocket money for children is transferred into debit cards. I pay with my card because my mom and dad put uh, money on my bank. Korea is also shifting in a similar direction. Last year, credit cards made up 39% of all transactions, exceeding cash usage at 36%. Bank transfers are easy with smartphones. Just a couple of taps and some words of wisdom are all it takes to give some New Year's gift money. 
It's also possible to gift points that can be redeemed at certain stores. 이번 설에 너무 바빠서 못 내려갔는데 조카들도 보고 싶기도 하고요. 그런데 이렇게 핸드폰으로 편리하게 세뱃돈 보낼 수 있어서 되게 편리하고 좋은 것 같아요. Online banks are preparing services that allow customers to automatically transfer money from their accounts to restaurants when they dine. More and more countries are expected to aim for a cashless society as this can reduce the cost of printing money and control the underground economy. The Pusan Exhibition and Convention Center was the venue for Korea's first drone exhibition, attracting 20,000 visitors over three days. 1,000 applicants signed up for the conference with a $300 entrance fee that was initially designed for $300. The explosive interest in drones has triggered Pusan's investment in the drone industry. While local governments have pledged to turn their regions into drone meccas, the Pusan Metropolitan Government went one step further and is aiming to specialize in marine drones. This is a delivery drone developed by Pusan National University, capable of delivering packages to islands. However, marine drones require a higher degree of technology compared to their land-based counterparts. They need to deal with the rough sea winds and waves. The Busan Metropolitan Government is backed by the Korean Air Tech Center and some 3,000 annual graduates with engineering degrees. The government also has plans for an airplane parts industry worth $20 million and a support center for commercialization of unmanned aerial vehicles. National funding will play a key role in their projects. In this movie, the time and location of a crime is predicted before it actually happens. A similar crime prediction system may become real in Korea. The Ministry of Justice has decided to look into a system that can prevent criminals convicted of serious crimes from reoffending. Information of 1.9 million criminals currently on probation and 130,000 cases of recidivism will be used for this big data initiative. This information will be considered along with the ages, family relations, and education levels of current criminals on probation to predict the chances of reoffense, when the crime will be committed, and what the crime will be. ICT devices such as smartwatches and ankle monitors will also be used. Officials are looking into supplying smartwatches that have an emergency button and can automatically call the police and track the wearer's location. Moreover, intelligent ankle monitors capable of detecting changes in body temperature and pulse for sex offenders are expected to be ready for use this year. We've seen all different kinds of cool gadgets and technologies in movies, like the artificial intelligence Jarvis that was featured in the superhero movie Iron Man. Although Jarvis is fictional, we are seeing the emergence of real artificial intelligence systems that are becoming more sophisticated. For example, Google DeepMind created a new AI system, AlphaGo. What is this system capable of and how can it change our lives? We have more details coming up next on Techapeak. Iron Man is talking to someone, or something. He is talking to an artificial intelligence system named Jarvis. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg announced that he was going to create an AI system similar to Jarvis and Iron Man. It would be capable of virtual reality, visualization of his work, and checking up on his home. Google DeepMind's AlphaGo and Korean professional Go player Yi Se-dol will hold a match this month. AI has come this far thanks to machine learning. Machine learning means that AI can learn on its own. There's also a branch known as deep learning, and it uses a human brain as a model, simulating how neurons work with information. While AI is expected to help humans and improve their quality of life, there are also concerns that AI could take over jobs. This is the nuclear fuel that will be used in a type of Generation 4 nuclear reactor called a sodium-cooled fast reactor, or SFR. These rods are going to be used in a prototype SFR and will undergo tests in June of this year at a Russian research fast reactor. This is the fruit of a nuclear fuel development project that started in 2007 and underwent 10 stages of development and investigations. 
Following the development of a high-capacity nuclear fuel jacket crown that has the world's best internal structure and safety rating, all that's left is a final reliability test. This also means that Korea is well on its way toward independently developing a sodium-cooled fast reactor and activating it by 2028. Nuclear fuel waste can be reduced to 1 20th of its original size with the help of pyroprocessing, a form of high heat treatment. It will also boost the utility rate of uranium resources. The nuclear fuel for Generation 4 reactors is expected to complete all safety checks by 2020. Korea will be one step closer to the goal of developing its own sodium-cooled fast reactor. This will also tackle the issue of handling nuclear fuel waste and make Korea a powerhouse in the field of nuclear energy. Children cry out the moment they see a needle. Even adults wish to avoid these needles as much as possible. Researchers have developed a way of delivering vaccines through topical means by using hyaluronic acid, a component in cosmetics that helps with moisture retainment. Hyaluronic acid spreads quickly with the help of receptors in skin cells. The vaccine is mixed with hyaluronic acid, applies to the skin, and shown with light to promote absorption. Changing the proteins attached to hyaluronic acid can result in a variety of vaccines for different illnesses. The researchers also developed a way to restore skin with light. They created a biodegradable substance that can transmit visible light into the skin. Placing the substance on a scar and shining light on it will cause the collagen in the body to react and cover the scar. The research team stated that light-based medical technology can be used in vaccination as well as everyday things like cosmetics and other fields. I personally hate getting any type of shots and I am terrified of needles, but I don't think it's just me. I think a lot of people will be happy to hear about this new topical vaccine. Thanks to all these new inventions, innovations and research, the world is progressing very rapidly and making our lives a lot easier. It's already time for me to say goodbye, but we will be back next week with more updates. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful week. Goodbye!